Hello and welcome back to Crazy About Captivate video tutorials. My name is Anita Horsley and today you'll learn about how to import a video and sync the video audio for closed captioning purposes. So let's get started. To import a video, go to Video in the main toolbar and select Insert Video. You can choose Event Video or Multi-Slide Synchronized Video. One difference between the two is that event videos are not inserted into the Captivate library. So if you move the video or the Captivate project from the folder on your computer, the video will not play. If you use multi-synchronized video, the video is inserted into the Captivate library, so it doesn't matter where it's located on your computer. One advantage of event videos is that you can have more than one video on a slide. With multi-synchronized video, you can only have one video on one slide. Okay, so in this case, we're going to use multi-slide synchronized video. And from here, you'll browse to the video on your computer. Notice the types of videos that you can import into Captivate down here. Then select the video by either double-clicking on it or select it and click Open. Typically, you'll choose the default video type Progressive Download. Then decide if you want to use a video on the slide stage or within the table of contents. Here's a warning. If you choose table of contents, you must show the table of contents in the separate, not overlay style. For this example, let's choose stage. Then choose if you want the video to distribute across multiple slides, or if you want the video on one slide, choose modify slide duration to accommodate timing of the video. Then with the video selected on the slide, go to video in the main toolbar and select edit video timing. Select the closed captioning tab at the top, and then click the plus sign to insert the first row. Click the play icon to play the first part of your video and when you're ready, click pause. Warning, don't click the stop icon. It will take the scrubber, the red line, right back to the beginning. And then type in the text you just heard. Unfortunately, you can't copy and paste text here. Click the plus sign again. Here's another warning. Don't click enter on your keyboard to get to the next line. Just click the plus sign. Otherwise, the order will be reversed. Notice now that the marker is saying two at the scrubber. Play again until you're ready to click the pause. Type in the next text. Click the plus sign. Click play. Type in the text. Notice the markers now say one, two, and three. If you want to change the closed caption project setting, you can do so right from here. Click the button and make any formatting changes you like. Then click OK. And then click OK again. Then go to Project in the main toolbar at the top and select Skin Editor. By default, closed captioning is turned off, so you'll have to select the radio button to check closed captioning. Then preview your project, and you'll see your closed captions are synced with the audio of the video. Thanks for joining us today with this video tutorial series, and feel free to stay in touch.